All right, let's check out the next one. Tap to Map is another drone planning app that's available on the App Store that I wanted to check out. So let's dive right in. And let's just go and click the plus button. A lot of them, click the plus button, new mission. In this case, what I'm gonna do is just a simple grid, but I do have other options available. Polygon missions, double grids, linear missions, facade missions, or I can import a KML. Let's go into simple grid mission. In this case, it's gonna go ahead and bring up the, the map. I like that I can do this in portrait. Um, I wonder if I can do it in landscape as well. Let's go ahead and see if it changes to landscape. It doesn't, it's definitely designed for portrait. It locks it in that portrait mode, which is a little different, but still okay. I can search, I can type a project name up top. Let's call it test again. Let's see, keep it consistent. In this case, I'm gonna take this whole mission and I'm gonna bring it to the park. In this case, if I slide the whole mission changes, not just that one vertex, because it's a simple grid, it's not a polygon. So that is pretty handy if I'm just flying box missions and I just wanna move it around. I do like that. Um, I can change the rotation of the box here. Great, fantastic. Let's go ahead and hit next, see what it lets me change. So here, it's go ahead and it's going to set up a, a launch, a home point, a start and an end point. It's gonna set up the mission. Uh, it's four lines, 40 images, so I have the mission planning information available to me. I can, it looks like I can change some of the information. If I go to setting, I can. I can change the GSD, and changing the GSD changes the elevation, right? So if I'm going to, if I want a half inch pixel, I can click in here and change it. That is very nice. If I want a half inch GHG, I'm flying 134.8 feet with that sensor. Um, and I can change the overlap. I do like uh, more overlaps. So in this case, I'm, let's go to one inch GHD with this. Great. But I'm gonna change the overlap to 75, 75. I do like 75, 75. And I can change the drone speed as well. So those are the project settings. It's nice that I have the flight mission settings directly available within the app. I can ch select with drone. It should already have selected the Mavic 2 Pro. There we go. So now everything should have updated for the Mavic 2 Pro camera. Three, about four minutes long, four lines. Very, very simple. Uh, click next. I can activate terrain following. That's Pretty nice, I can activate it right here, or I can continue without. Let's go ahead and activate it. And at this point, I can start the mission. So it's ready now, it's it's in a horizontal it's in a horizontal mode for the, basically to, to take up that real estate for better situational awareness. I'll have everything within this app to just hit start. So for overall situational awareness, uh, this app works fairly well. It does have that mix of portrait and landscape. I would like to kind of keep with one for a consistent user experience. Uh, but the interface is fairly simple. Never used it before. Looks pretty easy to set up a mission. It doesn't have a movable home point. I can't set that, um, but the home point is typically set at the launch anyway. So that is definitely something to take into account as well.